hey it stops welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you here so in this tutorial here i want to experiment in cloning the landing page here of apple.com so here's the page beautiful beautiful apple.com page here so let's see what we can do to clone these two elementals so i have a tool here called clone web x uh, this tool uh, literally helps to clone any website to your page builder with a single click. So it can literally clone any website to Webflow, to Elementor, to Bricks, and Gutenberg is coming and some other page builders as well. It's a paid tool, but it has a free plan. So let's check out what their pricing plan looks like. So it's free for you to use for three export per month, but only desktop templates. So it means that it would not be somehow responsive update or forever you have access to the community support and then you can go the monthly plan which is seven dollars per month and you have access to use it to clone 10 sites and you can also go the yearly plan and you can go the lifetime plan so that's literally up to you you can come here buy a plan or experiment with the free whatever works for you but i have a plan here so i would go to the app here I have some projects here i can just literally launch another project so i'll come here i will add a new project i'll call this apple clone and i'll have to put the apple url here which is apple.com and then i can create a project so that's it once you're done here to ask you to just install the chrome extension that's very very important because that's what you use to clone your website so if you click this here the chrome extension would download so if you download the chrome extension you should have this clone web x icon here so now let's come to the website we want to clone which is apple.com what we want to do before we launch the chrome extension to clone this page is for us to scroll down the entire page to make sure that the page is fully loaded you might want to clone a website that has lazy loading or has some other things uh, so you want to scroll to see that every element every aspect of the page is fully loaded so what we want to do now is to launch a chrome extension uh, so if we come up here if we click this it will ask us to select a project and then we can click this and we will select apple clone that we just created and then we will hit add page so this is loading experience so this uh, extension is cloning that page so let's wait for it let's see and here we have it all right so there we have it we have a clone here so we want to scroll let's check out our page uh, okay uh, the background image here is not showing i think this should be a video really so if we come to apple let's come okay this should be an image a video here that's not popping so we can see there's a control here all right so let's continue so we see this this is good so that's a fantastic clone here uh so apart from this video here that is not playing at the background uh i think nothing more we may want to just add a video to the, the background video to this element inside the elemental and that's something quite very easy to do so now that we have this cloned what we want to do right now is to see how we can convert this to elemental or to whatever page builder you are most comfortable with in this box here there's a place for page builder so if you click this so you can see that this work with both the elemental pro and the free version this also work with webflow with bricks oxygen is coming breakdance is coming gutenberg is coming so for the purpose of this example we will try the elemental free before we do that we need to select the element we want to use on the page and that's the first thing we want to do here so you need to select which part of the page you want to clone whether or not you want to clone an element or you want to clone the entire page so if you come to the page now you see that this page here has this selector tool that can really highlight for you where on the website you want to clone so right now if i click this i would be able to select this element or select the parent uh the, which is the entire website so we might just find it very easy to copy this element by element so 
Uh, that being said, I think the first thing I want to copy is not even this here. It would be the header here. So if I click on the header here, if I click this, this will toggle off uh, the element. So I'm very sure that this is what I am about to copy. So I would select this. That's the header here. So you see we have that selected here. So I will switch this from Elementor Pro to free. And then I will scroll down and I will hit the export button. So we can see that we have something downloaded here. A JSON file has been downloaded here. So we'll go back to our website. So let's come here. Uh, first off, let's come to plugins. Let's come to add new. Let's try to upload our yes uh integration plugin here and let's install this let's activate this plugin all right so you can see that i have elementor and this installed so let me activate elementor as well i need to close this all right so now let's come to pages let's come to add a new page so i'll call this Oh, 2024 uh, WordPress team is doing its thing here. So, all right, I'll close this up. I'll call this Apple clone. And then I can come to my template here. I will switch this to Elementor Canvas. And then I would publish this page. And then let's edit this page to Elementor. Okay, so we can close this right now and then we can come to our template. I will come to my template. I will just come to the upload button and then I'll come to my download. I think I downloaded this twice so I can just copy one of them. And then I'll continue and then I'll enable and import. Alright, so we have this imported here so I'll just insert this into my page. Beautiful. So we can see here that our uh, menu is being imported one after the other. This is good. Good, good, good stuff. This is still important. I think there's still more. All right. So fantastic. So we have a site icon here. We have a, a cart icon here. This is beautiful 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 so we've been able to import the menu the header uh, this would be edited inside the elemental as a template and that's quite fantastic because it gives us a lot of option we can then go ahead and style this redesign it create the drop down with elemental we can even use the plugin to do that uh, element kit used to be my favorite to design elemental headers like this so i love it and that's the beauty of Elementor. Elementor has lots of add-ons that can really help you uh, do some customization. And trust me, a lot of these things are free for you to use. Uh, so that's it for this. This is beautiful. So we have our menu done and ready. So now we can come back to our project here. So let's try to clone this. So if you click this here, this should be uh, the current selector. If I toggle this, uh, this is not a lighting. Why is that? Uh, let's do this again. Uh, let's do this. It's not working. Why? Let's toggle the parent selector. This ideally should copy the entire page. So if I scroll down, this isn't copying the entire page. Oh, fantastic. The video here is now playing. So it was taking time to uh, work initially. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know why this is, but I think if this is what I have here, I will just work with this. Uh, but ideally, the printer selector should copy the entire website. So uh, I think they're trying to update this tool because it wasn't available for me to use all morning. It wasn't working. So now it's working and some of the things are not working. So, um, these guys are working, working really hard on this. So it's a fantastic tool. I love this. Uh, but uh, let's select this. Uh, is, since this is giving us the uh, is giving us access to this section here, and then we have everything here selected. I will just click the export button. 
and this has been copied to clipboard you can see this one is different from the menu the menu is like a json file that is like a template but this one is a copy and paste so now let's come back here and then let's just do a right click here and let's paste from other sides and then we can press ctrl plus v okay good stuff we can see that this element here has been copied to a page and that's beautiful uh, let's just update this so now we can just come back here to a project okay so here we can just scroll down and then we have the next element here and this one we can click it as usual let's see if this would work that that's not working as well let's try to experiment with this this has copied the entire thing here and then let's paste this here and let's export this copy to clipboard and then let's come back to our website here and as usual let's right click let's paste from other side and let's do ctrl plus v all right beautiful we have this here i want to believe this may still be updating but let's just continue let's come back to a project here and then let's come here let's see if we can't work with this as well let's copy this let's toggle this this is not working for this so let's toggle this this is working so let's click this and then let's export these two as well so let's come back here let's right click this let's paste from other side and let's do ctrl v all right so we can see here that this has updated so we can see iphone 15 pro here now written uh, this is kind of uh blank uh it should be playing a background video that might still be auto populating so this takes time for this to update so you may want to give this time uh, i hope hopefully it would work uh, so you can see this is coming up hopefully it should and let's just wait let's just give this time to finish so we can still come back and just keep cloning the entire page so for this right now i just want to select the entire page here and if i select this that is off i think that's okay so let's just select this and then let's export this so let's come here so you can see our video is playing already i really don't know why all of this is but we're gonna leave this as is let's just uh, right click this as well and let's paste from other side and let's do ctrl v all right so you can see this also is updating so we may want to give this time to as well to finish up all right so we can see here that this is updated now so we have our text here uh however we have all these uh images here repeating we can easily solve those problem inside of elementor so it's the same thing we have here i just think that just some image issues uh, first off uh, let's use the help of a navigator uh, once in a while that tool can be very useful so i'll turn this on so i need to search out for where this is this is container one two three okay so somewhere here so let's come down here uh, let's come here so this is the heading here uh, so we can see here apple watch series so this is it here so let's just come to advanced let's close this layout let's come to background okay so this is the image here that is supposed to be showing this uh, so this is where we want to okay um, repeat so now let's say no repeat so now you can see that has solved this issue here uh, so we can change this button to as well uh, we can auto inline this and this so that they will be on the same line but i really don't want to waste so much time trying to do all of this but i believe you understand how this work uh, so that's it for that uh, we can go all and on and on to make all these changes so i think uh, okay let's close this let's come down here so for this right now this is it so we can come to 
settings as we can come to advanced as usual uh we can close our layout uh, we can come to our background and for this we can just set this to no repeat so that's it for this so we can align all of the text here to suit our style so uh the same thing we have here so i can literally just click these two as well to see how i can sort this out All right, so fantastic. So we've been able to update this, but you can go ahead in your own case, align all the text to suit you well, uh, to suit your style and what you want to do. I don't want to waste so much time trying to customize this, but you get the idea. So now let's update this page. All right, so our update is done. Now let's view what our page would look like. Let's see this. Let's view this in incognito window cool stuff so we have our website here how beautiful is this we have fantastic menu here and then we can scroll down beautiful beautiful so this needs some alignment so you can see this also needs some alignment uh this also needs some central uh, alignment as well so the same thing for this and how beautiful is this we've been able to clone apple dot com landing page with just some few clicks of a button here and there to elementor literally for free not even elementor pro absolutely beautiful we can even experiment with the responsiveness for us to see how responsive this page is so you can see this is cool even though the alignment can still uh the alignment can still be improved upon but this is beautiful this is aligning correctly so we can close this here uh you can go back to apple.com or come back to our project here clone the remaining uh part of this page and just copy and paste all of them and you can also come back to apple.com and then go to other pages and then literally just keep cloning so guys, it's up to you. Go try out Clone WebEx. It's a fantastic tool. I believe you get value for your time. And also invest in this tool. I believe you get value for your money. I have the link to Clone WebEx in the video description. You would also see a coupon code in the video description to get a further slash down. So that's my time for this tutorial. You can subscribe so that you don't miss out on further tutorials from me using this tool and other tools they've got amazing amazing tools i'll see you in those tutorials and until then stay safe